Mark Berman of the New York Post with our men in the back on 104.5. The team and Mark, this Knicks team seems to be better than we thought they would be at this point. What makes them good, Mark? Yeah, I mean, it's been a very strong start. Eight and, uh, eight and seven after 15 games. Uh, already five victories on the road. You know, last night in Miami, they hit a speed bump, but I think Miami is being overlooked. I think there's a chance that Miami gives Cleveland a run for their money in the playoffs, and uh, they showed a lot of weapons last night. But the depth that the Knicks have and Porzingis playing already, like surely a rookie of the year candidate and sh- and a guy who looks like he could be a franchise player in a couple of years, no one expected him to bust out like this except for himself. Uh, and Carmelo's playing well enough, sharing the ball. Defensively, they're better. Fisher going in with 12, 13-man rotation. Didn't work last night, but most nights it has. Does this make you kind of a Phil believer at this point? Uh, yeah, no, listen. He, I, I never doubted him as a basketball, you know, his expertise in basketball. He made one terrible trade, had a lot of intel about Tyson Chandler, uh, that he was not good in the locker room. He was complaining a lot to the coaching staff. Some of the players didn't like him. He was always pointing fingers, and he felt the locker room needed a, a chemistry change. But the Tyson Chandler trade turned into a disaster last year. You know, they got down there. I mean, every piece they got has not worked out. Uh, and and Calderon's the last guy left, and you know, some nights he looks okay. Some nights he looks overmatched, like last night. But it, it was one terrible trade, but he's moved on from there. And you listen, he was a rookie president. He made a hasty trade, you know, uh, just a few months in the job. And he's lear- he realizes now that, you know, one mistake could really set you back, and it did. But you know what? If it if it means they got a franchise player in Przingis out of last year's disaster, then it's all worth it. Mark Berman of the New York Post at NY Post underscore Berman. Okay, Mark, the thought process has always been that Carmelo needs a Robin to his Batman or vice versa. At this point, should we believe that Porzingis is that guy? Yeah, I, I mean, it looks like that's going to happen. Uh, I. I mean, unless the kid gets injured, you know, this season, he's just going to get better as a rookie. He's he's well ahead of pace. I think there's a very good connection, unlike when Carmelo and Sotomayor looked lost together on the court. And we spoke to Sotomayor last night, and he said, well, you know, strategically, if we would have put each other in the pick and roll as a two-man uh, in a two-man game, maybe we would have had success. No coach wanted to do it. But th- this this Anthony Przingis connection is much better. Przingis attracts attention. It's going to allow Melo, you know, maybe not to be double-teamed as much. Przingis is crashing the offensive glass. You know, late in the game in Houston, Saturday, Melo missed a big shot. But there was Przingis to get the rebound, and they got points out of the possession. And, and that was late in the game, a crucial possession. Years past, Melo hit, misses the shot. The other team gets the rebound. And, and there's a real momentum. Uh, it's a real momentum killer. Uh, so, yeah, it's a great co- connection. And Melo's always looking for him on the court. And he's become a, a distributor. And Melo has always wanted to share the wealth down the stretch. People have this idea that he wants to be the guy every night. No, you know, he, you know, maybe in Denver, that was his mentality, but in New York, he realizes he needs help in the final couple of minutes. Teams load up against him. He hasn't been successful in late stages of games. And now he's got a guy like Przingis to really help him late in games. I hope Fisher keeps Przingis on the court in the final two minutes. I think he will now. Mark, there's been some speculation that the right trade turns the Knicks into true Eastern contenders. Can we count on the sophomore Phil Jackson, general manager, to go out and get that trade done? Yeah, well, I'm looking not so much as a trade, but one more big free agent signing uh, in the summer. For instance, a Mike Conley, 
uh, of Memphis, point guard. I think he's got the mentality to play in New York. Uh, you know, they're going to have cap space, close to maximum cap space. Uh, yeah, I think they're they're one big addition away from being a real, real dangerous. And yes, I do. I mean, I, I, honestly, I think Phil really did a nice job. He's got a, a, a team full of hard workers, team players. This is no easy task for Fisher to be playing 12, 13 guys and he's keeping everyone happy, or at least if they're not happy, they're not voicing any displeasure, and they're really sacrificing. And, you know, Derek Williams played only four minutes last night. Uh, O'Quinn, you know, they signed him. He was an important addition in the summer, and he's been a DNP a couple of nights. So Fisher's been able to, to manage these guys and doing a very good job in keeping everyone uh, on the same page. And Phil really built a roster that could withstand injuries. And, yeah, I do believe he could get this done. And I think Carmelo Anthony believes Phil can now get it done. Beautiful. Mark Berman of the New York Post might be some of the most positive (laughs) in-season reporting that we've ever heard from you in the history of two years. How about that? I know. And it's only 15 games. But, I mean, compared to last season, literally night and day, um, I mean, it's a completely different atmosphere and you look at last year's team, J.R. Smith, Shumpert, Dallin Bear, a broken down Stoudemire. I mean, it was just a terrible mix. I mean, we thought that they had talent last year, but it was the mix was just awful uh, chemistry-wise in the locker room. At NYPost underscore Berman on Twitter. Mark Berman of the New York Post. Read his stuff every day. LeVac and I do. Mark, thanks for your time. We'll do it again soon. All right. Thanks so much, guys.